Today we're going to look at how you can solve problems related to the chemistry concept called a mole. So when you hear that term in chemistry class, what does it even mean? The word mole is just a word used to describe when you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of a substance. It's a word that refers to a number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. You have words in your vocabulary that already do this. Uh, if you think of two shoes, we often call those two shoes a pair of shoes. That when you uh, hear the word pair, your brain thinks of the number two. If two people are dating, we sometimes call them a couple. So the words pair and couple both trigger the number two in your head. When you think of 12 items, the word that probably comes to mind is dozen. 13 items is called a baker's dozen. And if you're a Costco shopper and like to buy things in bulk, perhaps you know that when you buy 144 or something, we call that a gross. So we have words in our vocabulary that refer to numbers and the word mole is just one more of those. Uh, it's just refers to a number you don't often see, except if you're in chemistry class. So this concept of the mole is a way of uniting uh, different ways that we might measure the amount of substance present. So one way that we might measure the amount of substance present is by counting how many particles are there. So when we look at how many particles there are, uh, when you hear that term particles, it's like, what is a particle? Well, it could be referring to atoms or molecules. This term formula unit is a new vocabulary word for you. Technically, the word formula or molecule, excuse me, is supposed to be for covalent molecules only. Nonmetals bonded to other nonmetals. So you could have a molecule of water because water is H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen, nonmetals only. But let's say you had sodium chloride, an ionic compound, a metal nonmetal combination. We're not really supposed to use the term molecule to refer to sodium chloride. So what do you call it? Um, a formula unit is basically like an ionic molecule. So just to kind of put this on your radar, that that's some new vocabulary for you. You haven't heard that term before. Another way that you might measure the amount of substance present is by seeing the volume of that substance. So a mole is also equal to 22.4 liters. Now there's a little disclaimer for that 22.4. It only works for gases. So that 22.4 is not for liquid liters. We're gonna learn how to convert liquid liters a little bit later. But for right now, there's 22.4 liters, gaseous liters in a mole. But that only works, that conversion factor only works under STP conditions. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. If you think about taking, uh, if you filled up a balloon inside your house and then went outside on a very, very cold day with that balloon, that balloon would shrink when you go outside. The particles get closer together as the temperature drops. So the size of your balloon gets smaller in cold temperatures and gases expand when they get warm. So that 22.4 only works for gases and only works under certain temperature and pressure conditions. I'm not gonna try and trick you with uh, non-STP conditions, but I did just wanna make you aware that that doesn't work 100% of the time. 
And the other thing a mole is equal to is the mass that you find on the periodic table. So that's why I have a periodic table here off to the side. So for example, um, if we were to look at like the element helium, the mass that you see on the bottom of the periodic table square, that 4.0026, that's the mass in grams if you had a mole's worth of the element. If we had 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium and put them on the balance, the mass would read 4.0026 grams. If we had 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of neon instead, the mass of that pile would be a little bit heavier because neon atoms are heavier than helium atoms. So even though we have the same number of them, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, since each neon atom is bigger than each helium atom, the mass of that whole pile is bigger as well, 20.180 grams. So if we think about that as like a conversion factor, we would say one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. It's also equal to 22.4 liters, which is also equal to the molar mass on the periodic table. This one conversion factor will get you through every single mole problem that you're gonna see this year. Uh, in chemistry. And so because of that, I would like you to memorize those conversion factors, the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and the 22.4. We're going to use those numbers a lot. The concept of the mole, we've talked about this a little bit already in class, um, was invented by a scientist with the last name of Avogadro. And he didn't pick the number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, he was just linking the uh, two standards together, the AMU standard and the Graham standard together. And we've talked about this a little bit in class already, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on that idea.